This is a short video on how to assign a new terrain surface as an elevation reference to multiple uh, inlets or, or nodes at one time. Um, so quickly you can see I've got uh, some catch space in this, in this file um, and as I you know, step through them in the drainage and utility model you can see the elevation reference is set to uh, my proposed backbone only terrain model and I just recently got a new terrain model um, and I want to use that one instead so I've got a terrain model now called um, and it's actually active in the file you can see it's called DC um, so it's the active terrain model currently in the design file so I've referenced that in um, and I want to use that instead so I'm just going to go ahead over here and create a selection set um, I can do that many different ways, but in this case I'm going to use the um, Explorer. And so I'm just going to select, for example, these um, eight catch basins. I can see the property, elevation reference. If I click into that property, um, I can get the three little dots there. And I get a tool prompt, set reference. And so there's set reference, remove reference, I could do either. Um, so I'm going to accept set reference and then I'm going to select the elevation reference element and that's my terrain. I could reset because it is active and it would use the active terrain. So I'm going to set that new terrain and it's going to update those to the new reference ele um, element. So as I scroll through these you'll just see that they have changed. So the ones that I changed in that case, are still set are now set to DC terrain, versus the others are still on the other terrains model. So that's how you change multiple ones using a selection set and taking advantage of the properties panel.